Hi guys, welcome back to Justina's Kitchen. I hope you're all doing great. I'm super excited to bring you this meal. It's gonna be chicken ball stew. I'm going to blend the chicken breast. In a blender, add in our ingredients, boil them, and then fry it. Later on, we turn it into a tasty, appetizing, presentable chicken ball stew. If you have never tried this recipe, Try it and you will comment back in the comment box and tell me how great it tastes. And so stay tuned. If this is your first time into Justina's Kitchen, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share to help my channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you'll be updated. We have one and a half kilograms of chicken breast. I've already washed it clean, remove all the fat and all that. Now I'm gonna chop them into big, and then you can use mortar and pestle if you have one. Why I'm using a baking paper on top of the chopping board, and just I just want to avoid washing it again because of bacteria and all that. I'm it back to the plate. I'm put it aside. I'm not going to use all the onions, I'm just going to use a little bit. The normal onion together with the spring onions. And we take some of the. Before we start, I'm going to soak one slice of white bread. I've added in water. Let it absorb the water. So I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to use a little bit of habanero pepper. If you don't want it spicy, you don't need to add it in. For fish balls too, is the same procedure. Going to add in the bread. And now we start by blending the chicken fillet.
onions together with the bread and the chicken breast. I'm going to add in the seasoning. I've already mixed here one teaspoon of black pepper, just a pinch of chili flakes, one teaspoon of oil cocoa seasoning, and one teaspoon of garlic powder with a pinch of salt. We want to empty that in here and then mix together. But if you have any seasoning that you want to add, to add in, you can do so as you wish. But for me, these are the ones I want to add in. Be careful with salt because we're gonna add salt in the stew later on. I'm now going to add in an egg. And now to make it easier, I'm gonna use my hand. go on to the next which is the boiling rest and then fry if you want to know how i'm gonna do this meal stay tuned watch the video up to the end it's easy simple tasty and flavorful so now i'm gonna boil them i've washed my hands very clean if you want you can use oil or water so they will stick on your hands i prefer to use oil and then we take it depends on how big you want the chicken balls. You can boil them to the size that you want, like this, and then we put it aside. It doesn't matter if it's too soft. As soon as we fry them, they will be firm. You can even do a large quantity, fry them first, and freeze them. Our potatoes are now golden brown, so we remove them. Chicken balls are now done as you can see let me show you how it looks see that you can eat it like this because it's already done inside juicy and tasty I'm going to strain it in here we need all this oil because we have to caramelize the onions. When the stew is done and you feel that there is too much of oil, you can scoop it out. So that's no problem. I've already blended one red onion, two white onions, with 200 grams of chopped tomatoes. We have um, uh, like eight garlic cloves, with just a little bit of habanero pepper so if you want it spicy or mild it's up to you you can adjust it to your satisfaction the oil is now hot so i'm going to add in the ingredients add in two bay leaves 
the bay leaf is going to give it a very beautiful aroma and flavor. I've added in two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to add in a little bit of water to loosen the onions. After caramelizing for five minutes, I'm going to add in more water. We have to cook it properly until the onions is really done. After another five minutes, I'm going to add in more water. I'm going to add in another 250 milliliters of water. I'm now going to mix the seasonings that I'm going to use for the stew. I've used fresh garlic, but I'm going to add in garlic powder too. I'm adding in the seasoning. I'm going to add in water one more time, last time, but not so much, just an amount that will cook the vegetables. I'm going to add in the carrots and the cabbage. with 200 milliliters of water. Add in the garden egg, aubergine, with the potatoes too. We want to check it gradually. If the potatoes and the Garden egg are done. We can remove them and then wait for the water to finish and then we add it back in. The balls we're going to add in last. But if I'm doing like fish balls, I don't add in potatoes. I add in cassava instead. But once it's like chicken, then I use potato instead of cassava we're now going to leave it to cook slowly for the vegetables to cook cover it just halfway like this You can add in habanero, the whole ones, if you want to. You can see the water is almost done. The cabbage and the carrot is cooked. I'm now going to add in the chicken balls.
these are the bones from the chicken breast I normally buy the whole chicken and then remove the breast I don't buy the fillet because I don't like fillet so much so I buy the whole chicken use the leg the wings the back and all that and then save the fillet for for like chicken balls or if I want to do like wrap or etc almost done after five minutes i add in the potatoes and the eggplant and our chicken balls stew is done and ready to be served we don't need to cover it at the moment because if not the steam would drop inside and there would be so much excess water so our stew is almost done so i'm gonna return back the potatoes <laughs> 